Um, uh, the Queen's one was a bit better because we had a bit of a bit of planning. Um, obviously, the Bristol game, we sort of went into the game with um, you know two back row boys on the bench as a, as a, as a tactical thing, and then as luck would have it, within ten minutes getting both Josh and Elliot knocked out, it, um, it certainly gave us a few challenges. Um, but I think the, the boys reacted unbelievably well. Um, to be fair, Josh Bayless, he he stepped up and went into the calling role in the line out. Um, and did really, really well. He called some good pictures and then we, we lost Josh to the yellow cards. So then it was down to Mikey, so he's like fourth man up in the game. And um, I think the good thing was for me is how the whole the whole pack responded. They um, they queued in, they listened to what the boys were telling them and they just went back to the basics and um, yeah, managed to still give us a decent enough platform. He was outstanding, yeah. I think um, the other second rows are all a bit scared now. He set, he set a new standard of what's expected from second row in terms of I've never seen in my life someone scrum in the second row and then still make the first breakdown and get a turnover, so it's quite impressive. But he's just he's a quality guy to be fair to him, he's unbelievably diligent in everything we do. So, you know, when, when that happened and then even afterwards I had three or four of the back row boys all putting their hand up in the game saying they can jump in the second row, they can do it. So we had Tao Lupe scrummaging in the second row, we had Miles Reed and Zach all, all keen to do it as well. And I think um, yeah, it's it's a good a good sign for me in terms of how well they all they all responded to the challenge. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant for you and Anne, for Ethan. Ethan sort of had 10 minutes against Worcester before, so you keep forgetting the two 18-year-old boys, and um, they were nervous beforehand, but I thought, to be fair, to, for Ethan to play a full game in 80 minutes over, uh, after not playing any rugby for so long as well, I thought he did really, really well. And then Ewan again come on, and Ethan came on and covered back row as well, which for him was excellent. And um, I thought we saw some little flashes from, from both of them of you know how much potential they got, and. You know, in the years to come, hopefully they'll be putting some really good performances above. It's, it's, going to be a, it's going to be a tough game. You know, Sale are playing well. They've had a couple of good wins. Um, we've got pretty good success against them recently, so we'll take a bit of confidence from that. We know that we have to, we have to get the better of them up front. They're a big, solid pack. If we can go there and do a job on them set piecewise, that will certainly help us a lot. We have to give a platform for the boys to play. We have to kick smartly. We have to play in the right areas because they, you know, you can see now with the new coaching set up there, they've changed their defence around. They look a lot more aggressive in terms of what they're doing defensively. So that'll certainly pose new challenges for us. Ah, it's just awesome to see it. I think, um, you know, I know for Ben's first of all, he's been in and out of that squad a few times. You know, a few years ago, got a nasty injury, and I'm just so happy for him because he's. He's grafted really, really hard to get back fit, first of all, to get back playing really well. And I think he's been the form, the form loose head for, you know, since the first lockdown. He's, he's been quality in some of the stuff he does. So just really happy to see him get on, get, some, get his first cap, and hopefully he'll really push on from there. And I think Cam as well, he's, he's taken the, the sort of, you know, the playing by storm this season, I think, in the way he's performed. He came in quite a quiet, unassuming guy. He come, just came in, got his head down, worked really hard. and. We've seen some great flashes of him in, in training and in the games for Bath and, you know, unbelievable first, um, first cap up as well. He put a great performance and getting a good win in Twickenham, he'd be, he'd be chuffed.